Hello and welcome one and all. This video is your first step on the journey to go from being a modding zero to a PAL world hero. What we're going to cover today is installing UE4SS and making sure that it works with your copy of PAL world without crashing. Because obviously if you install a mod and it crashes your game, kind of unhelpful. Um, so. If you were paying very close attention, you might have noticed that I just installed UE4SS and tested it, and it worked, and we're good, done. Video's over. You can go home. <laughs> no. Um, technically, yes. If you want to, you can just go back to the beginning, watch what I did, and copy that with your own copy of UE4SS. But I recommend following along. This whole thing's going to be about five minutes, so just hang in there. You want to go to the UE4SS GitHub page. That's where we're going to get started. We're going to go into the releases. 3.0.1 is currently the most recent. We're going to scroll down and download it. That's where you get the file. So I already have it here. I'm not going to download a second copy. Next, we're going to go to the basic installation instructions right here. You can just read through these and do them. Uh, I'm going to explain what they are, though. So basically what it says. You download this and unzip it into this folder, and then you're done. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. But what is game root game name binaries Win64? Let's take a look at the full installation guide so that we know what's going on. The game directory, so that would be the game root. They kind of changed the name in a couple places. The documentation could be a little better. Is in this case satisfactory early access. So that is the Epic Games version, Satisfactory Early Access. Given that it's in the, quote, Epic Games section, we can tell that this is the first folder related to the game at all. And then, Factory Game Binaries Win64. So inside of the core folder, there is the game name folder, which is Factory Game Binaries and Win64. Let's take a look at what that is for PAL World. Browse files. This right here would be the root folder, the game root, in Steam instead of Epic because I'm using Steam. Inside, we've got two folders, Engine and PAL. PAL is going to be the one that we're looking for. That's the name of the game. Engine is the wrong place. I'm going to show you what's in there. Do not go into Engine when you're setting this up. You will cause issues rather than making things work. Inside, look at that. There's a binaries folder and a Win64 folder inside of that. This is not where you want to install stuff. Stay out of here. It will maybe not cause any issues, but it will not do what you want it to do, and that's enough of an issue for me. So into PAL, binaries, Win64. This is where you're going to want to install. I'm going to very quickly delete. Oh, let's not delete that the files I installed in the beginning, just so you can see what it looks like and I can show you. You're going to have a D3, D12 folder here, a bunch of boost DLLs, the PAL World Win64 shipping.exe, and a couple of other things. We're just going to drag all this stuff from our zip file into the folder. Don't put it on the exe. That'll just launch PAL World with each of these files individually. It's kind of messy and gross. Not what we want. We want the files all in here. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go into UE4SS settings, and right here, we're going to change this BU's object array cache to false. That is a maybe not necessary step for you, but it is a setting that causes many people to crash. So rather than just you know, risking your game crashing for no real purpose. We're going to fix it ahead of time. Launch the game. Enter a world. You could create one, start one that you already have, whatever. It doesn't matter. You won't see any changes to PAL World. And the main thing we're testing is just making sure the game didn't crash. It didn't. We're good. Let's return to title and get out of here. Now, since we didn't see anything, how do we know we successfully installed it? 
Well, in the same folder, we now have a UE4SS.log file because the game ran, it generated a log in UE4SS, and that file is created. It is not something that was there originally. So we just look, timestamp, this is current time. For me, that is accurate. So that means it worked. And that means, congratulations. You have successfully installed UE4SS, and you can move on to the next steps with whatever mod it is that you want that requires it. I will have a couple of videos for some of those mods. I'm specifically creating ones for a few mods by Michael P. Stanage right now. So if you're interested in any of those, just check them out. Uh, if you've got questions, feel free to send a message anywhere you can, and I will maybe respond. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not super active on Power World. This is just kind of something I'm doing as I've seen a lot of people having issues with this and I don't want them to. So stop having issues. Just do what I showed you and you should be good. Have a great day, guys.